Welcome to the You Are Here podcast. This is episode 84 of the podcast. My name is Michael. I got Dave right beside me. What's up, Dave? What's up? Uh, find What's the up? podcast on uh, YouTube with that video. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube. Boom. www.youareherepodcast.co. We can have the 4DM. Uh. Hey, we're here. You are here. You this are is here. the You Are Here podcast. And we're happy to have you. We hope you're listening and having a good time. Hope you had a great day. Had a long. Personally, I had a long day. Long day. Hey, let's do this before the podcast. Monday. Let's have let's do this before the podcast before yes. we get into it. Okay. Whoever's listening to, let's all take five seconds to just take a deep breath. I like that. And make sure to breathe all the air into the mic. Okay, go ahead, bro. Let's get started. Good, actually. Let's get started. That felt good because Bre- you know breathing is a serious thing. It really is. I forget you I forget I'm breathing sometimes, and it's real shallow. I'm like, why am I so anxious? Why do I feel like yeah. my thoughts are crazy? And then all of a sudden you do yeah, yeah, yeah. slow. I think I got to practice that. One big thing, man, is I think I, I'm so bad at meditation. Oh, me too. I don't know if you've ever... Dude, I'm, I'm just, terrible too. On top of like just not being able to sit in one place, yeah. my mind just goes crazy. I know. Like too. I try to like just sit there and think about nothing, yeah. but like I... I just can't. Have you ever done yoga, like a guided yoga session? A, lot, a while ago. Have Not you? like like a class thing? You never did a class? No. Okay, okay. I feel like I should. I only did one. Maybe that would force me to like get into it. It was weird yeah. for me. I, if we're the same kind of person with the mind racing deal. I, I was sitting there and like yeah. everyone's like mmming and stuff and oh. you're in a pose and it's uncomfortable. And then at the end, it was like finally like, okay, we're just going to sit here and meditate. The child's pose. Yeah, child's pose. <laughs> And I was sitting there. On, it yeah. was on a beach, so we were on the beach. Oh, what? Yeah, it was beach yoga. Damn. In the sand, and I was like, okay. That I could and It was get the into. first time I was like, I wasn't thinking of anything mm. other than like where I was with all the. I forgot I was with everybody. I, I even forgot I was like by the ocean. I don't know what I was. I don't think I, I was thinking anything, <laughs> which is weird because usually I'm like, my, yeah. my heart's beating fast. Or yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, I gotta go do that thing after this. Or, oh, my fingers tight and this fucking. Cord. You know, like yeah, you're, you're. Yeah. I don't know. So that was like the first, but yeah, go ahead. Tell me your story. Uh, you said Monday. I don't know. It's just, we, we record this on Mondays, and I feel like just Mondays are, you know, they're th- tough. Not the greatest days, you know. <laughs> it's not the best. But you know what? I feel like I've been. I like when I'm busy and I have things to do all the time. Yeah. Because it kind of gets me away from that thinking of things all the time. Gotcha. You know. But I feel like it's a double edged sword because then I kind of burn myself out, mm-hmm. and I'm not always doing the things I want to be doing. Right. Or thinking about the things I want to be doing. Ooh. You know. It's weird. It is. It's, it's not. It's not even weird. That's like I get. It. Yeah. Like I don't know. I, I like this feeling of because I feel like I've been very present lately. Yeah. Um, which is a good thing to do. Good thing to. That's awesome. Know, practicing like you know throughout the day. You've been feeling that way these yeah. past few days. And this I, past week. Yeah, yeah. This past week, awesome. I don't know why. I've just been like, it's just been very busy with work. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. I think I like that. But uh, I want to maybe take this podcast because it's been a while since we have any like current events or I want to look look around the times. Got you. What okay. we're doing. Right? Okay, yeah. So I have a couple things planned for the podcast. Okay, yeah. Let's roll, you know? dude. Let's roll. Like, let's get right into it. Yeah, let's go. I'm in a whole uh, page here. Oh. And it's gone. Cool. Michael. Oh, my God. Wait, so you... I... <laughs> Don't mind Wait, maybe it's on the bottom still somewhere. Oh, you made it. Um, it's just closed for hours, gotcha. which is cool. You know, I okay. love that. Boom. Look at this page. There of it shit, is. Dude. There it is. Oh, we got. Yeah, Mike. I got a couple things. Go, bro. Son. Let's start into it. Yeah. Did you hear about this? And your restaurant's going to. Yes. So, so my father's shout out meat market steakhouse. We own a, a steakhouse out in Wayne, New Jersey. If you're in town, go visit. I'll visit you there. We add outdoor seating. Now, I guess we're 25 percent capacity. Really? Do you know that? Wait, so when did you do that? It's not done yet. Like, it's going to happen. It's going to be in effect. Oh, really? Yeah, like, it's going to be open I think 25%. this Friday. I think you're right. This Friday. Yeah. And your restaurants can what resume does indoor dining. What does it say the headline again? One more time so I can read it. Can resume indoor dining Friday. Yeah. Murphy okay, announces. Boom. I think. Yeah, Friday. 25% capacity. Yeah. Dude. So that's, they're opening up 25%. Oh, I wonder if the cafe is going to do that. I guarantee it. Bro. Dude, I could have the, the first hand update. Are you going to go? To the steakhouse and work? I don't know. Oh, dude. I don't think right That's away. Gonna I'm still going to be chilling. <laughs> I mean, for now, like, I've been I've been chilling because of, because of COVID. I'm just afraid of too yeah, many people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too many randoms. Um, I wanted to also bring up, because of this kind of, um, remember a while ago, a couple of podcasts ago, we did, um, there was that gym. Yes. That was facing like legal troubles. Yes. Yo, I followed up. They were on CNN or something. I yeah, think. yeah. There was like a big thing all around. And I saw another article recently. 
they're actually going to court for all this shit. Yeah. And they're like kind of winning. I bet. Yeah. And they're like suing back and shit. Whoa. For all the lost money. Yeah. 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 I bet, dude. And like, and now that this shit's happening, like How you can open up. How many businesses are going to do that? And now you think? can open up a little bit. Yeah. Now they're going to be like, oh, what the fuck? You know what I mean? How many people do you think are going to be trying to sue like the state and be like, yeah. we, I messed out on six months of money or whatever. Dude, it's, that's so tough. Cause I mean, even at my, at my job, I, uh. You know, I collect rents and shit because yeah, it's yeah. like studio spaces. And you break rents and people don't pay. It's hard because it's like, dude, we, we, had to sacri- we had to sacrifice money. You no, know, I know. A couple months. And that's we the were thing. You rely on people's income. You rely on rent being paid yeah. to your business. Yeah. And then my guy, then my boss, my boss is like, hey, ask these guys to, you know, pay something. Yeah. I'm like, even because obviously portion. you need to yeah. pay. Yeah. You know. But uh, I was like, you times can't. are fucking. You just tough. can't. I you can't. And for me to go like, hey man, you got to. I'm like. I can't do it. How do you, how do you like, I can't maneuver do that? It. I'm so bad at it. Yeah, I'm I'd so bad at asking too. for shit. I always let people like, I'm like, I'll give you another week. I'll give you another week. Yeah. I'm like, I don't. <laughs> but a lot of, sometimes I, 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 because I feel like I give a little bit, yeah. they, give, they back, give back, you know? You know so when you're dealing with people. Yeah. Have you ever dealt with a person who was like, no, and like, I'm not giving you money? Yeah. How, how'd you take, like, what happened? Tell me the story. <sighs> There's a couple, a couple times. Give me one time. There was one, it was these younger kids and, um. They were in their biggest room, and they've been there forever. So are they still there? They're not still there. Gotcha. I got them a fuck out. Fuck yeah. But um, they're these kids that they've been there before we were like, I, w- I basically took over management of this one whole building, right. studios. Right. I fixed it up. I fixed up like so much shit in it. Um, And now it's like a little bit nicer. It's still in like a shitty kind of area. Uh-huh. So it's kind of a shitty building. But um, it's a studio. Yeah. And there's literally no rival places like around here right you know except for new york obviously yeah but uh these people were there for so long and they would always have problems they would always give problems to, like the security there and they would never be paying and shit and i remember um i remember my pops was actually like kind of co-managing it because mm-hmm. there was no one really to look after it yeah so he would be like collecting shit yeah. and he would have a partner or something and um he would always have problems with them and shit mm-hmm. and like once i took over they were like i was trying to like get rid of all the bad people yeah there were a lot of pretty bad like shady, druggies shady and shit people. like a lot of shady people yeah and uh i don't know why it's just like one day is they were owed like four months or something mm-hmm. of rent mm-hmm. just like a thousand dollars a mm-hmm. month so i'm like i can't do this shit so i was like you know i go i knocked on the fucking door and uh i would call and they would never pick up mm-hmm. and i remember i heard i i would go in the morning sometimes like monday morning or like some like friday morning i usually go like the end or the beginning of the week, yeah. I go at like 8 a.m. Uh-huh. And I like walk up slowly and I hear people in the rooms and I heard them. And bro, all I did was I knocked on the fucking door. All I heard was them stop. And I'm like, oh, I got them. Dude, like they were running, running around and, shit, and then they fucking just dead stopped. And I was like, I kept knocking. I'm like, hello, hello. No answer. Uh-huh. I'm like, I know you guys are in there. No answer. I have keys. I'm dangling the keys and I'm opening the door. Yeah. And the guy comes out. He's like, oh, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm like, hey, man. And they're like, what's going on? And it's just these like younger kids. I'm not really like afraid. If there was like a huge dude, I'd probably not be there. But uh, it was these younger kids. And I was just like, I don't know. I, I'm i not easy. I can't be an asshole. Yeah. Like a lot of the time. Yeah. I'm very like understanding of people. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But when you do like fuck me over when I kind of help you. Yeah. Or at least I'm lenient. Yeah. Then I'm like. What the fuck, man? Like, yeah, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, why are you doing this shit? Like, you don't do pay family. anything. If you can't pay, then don't be here. Yeah. You know, I'll yeah. let you fucking leave. Yeah. I'm not even going to ask you for all the money. Yeah. But, uh. Wow. So they they get to leave without yeah, paying. Yeah. I mean, obviously they can't come back. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. if they break anything or do anything bad, they then I'm going to sue them. Yeah. Or small claim shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's like a whole That's waste a process, of fucking time and yeah. money. But, uh, I remember I just told them, like, hey, you either pay or leave. Yeah. And, um, I don't know, they, uh, left. <laughs> they peaced out. Yeah. It's hard to be, it's hard to be that. It's yeah, hard, to, yeah. it's hard for me to be like firm with people. Especially like, with like younger kids that are like, trying young. to do music and trying to like do something. You, you, you probably see yourself in that And you always be like, hey man, come in my room and I'll show you everything. Uh, I'm like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually good, but thank you. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's weird. I know. It's really weird. I had a, I don't, I don't know how to. It's weird because like I. Sorry to cut you off, no, but no, I feel like fine. there's like this like um, you kind of have power yeah. in a sense, yeah. And I really don't like having that asserting power. power, you know. Yeah, it's like yeah. like I don't like being able to be like yeah because I'm 
like, don't like it either. You're man. you're the higher up, so like I can fucking put you down or some shit. I don't know? like it either. I, don't, I, I like being on the level, same level. That's yes. what I was gonna say. Exactly. I try to level the playing field all yes. the time. If I if I'm ever in a position of power, I always try to like bring myself down to that person's like power level. I want to say yes. It's not like I'm better than them, but if no. I if I hold like a set, like if I'm like if I am uh, like a co-producer on the thing, yeah, like I was, I'm not walking around like all right. This is yeah. how it's gonna. You better go. Like I, yeah, I don't know yeah, how yeah. to do that. Yeah, like if you're if you're doing for like especially at starting out acting and stuff. Yeah. If you've been a lot, a lot of things. You still have to like get out there and do things. Oh yeah. And if you're on some like student films, like I kind of had a couple people, like even on auditions and shit. Yeah, like yeah, people yeah. would just like be like, act like they're just higher up. It's you rough, know, man. and like you're not gonna you're not gonna get far. You know. Yeah, I, and and the sick thing is but like some people do. Some but, people do. Some people do, but. It's tough. It's just who you are, I guess. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. It's who you are. Some people enjoy, I think, feeling that sense of power, and some people don't do well with it. I don't do well with it. I don't think you do either. No. I but no um, as far as like relating to younger people who want to do like that, they want to do music. They want to show you the music. They're all excited. Yeah. And shit. I um like if I had people come over to me over the years, like younger people who want to act, and they be for whatever reason they ask me. And recently this happened, and I'm trying. I'm not gonna like. Name job or whatever. And I'm trying to like not make it obvious. But <laughs> something happened where someone is asking already, like, like, all right, so now's the time. Like I wanna I wanna act. Whatever. Yeah. Like and I feel the question coming, but I'm already like formulating the answer. Do you know uh -huh. what I'm saying? Like I'm no, already no. I'm, I already know what I'm gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> which is like go to school. Yeah. Like that's I, I honestly yeah. like I don't because you could be, I think their their comment was like something like I'm a quick learner or something. Like I, I'll just know what I, I'll get it. Just put, Dude, that's like, the tag worst, me in. man. And like I get it, I get because I was there too, and I, I'm sure I've said something like that before as a as a younger. Hey, dude. quick learner. If you're gonna be um, like a cashier, right? You know. Eh, yeah, and it's it's weird because it's art, me? and it's like you feel me? Yeah, like if you want to paint, you could go paint. Yeah. You could paint something right now. You yeah. could you could finger paint on this table. And like I'm a, I'm a painter. I'm a, I'm a writer, and I'm gonna write. But the, hey, the, hey, but don't you think that that could also be for acting? People, someone oh, could do that. That's too? what I'm saying. Since it's art, yeah. I think you you can oh, okay. delusion yourself you. by saying like I'm. A, I could just do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I I, I felt like in my heart, like in my heart yeah. of hearts, like I I can do this. I could crush it better than Leo, and I know that in my heart. And it's like I've been there, dude. I get it. But when the rubber hits the road, homie, yeah, there's a big difference, dude. Yeah. The actors will swallow you up, dude. Like, and like get get ready for that day season, where it hits you. Season actors who know what the fuck they're doing yeah. will fucking eat you alive in a scene. Mm. You'll disappear. <laughs> you'll disappear, or you'll look ridiculous. Yeah, you know if you're not like if you don't have a base, if you don't have a foundation, and you're not you're not confident, not not egotistical, mm. not like. I know I can because I'm special. Yeah. It's like, I know I can because I've worked hard at this. Mm. I've put in the time. I've learned it. I've related to it in my own way. I've created a way of doing it for myself and I've done it. Yeah. Then it's like, ah, oh, yeah, I could, mm. I could show up and do it. Yeah. I don't know how good I'm going to be, but I can do it and be like effective. Yeah. That's interesting. Like a baseball player. Like you, you, you don't just go out or a soccer player. You don't just go out and you're like, I'm, I'm a really good goal because I know I, 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 yeah. I play FIFA and like, I feel it and I, I know I could do it. <laughs> Played FIFA. Yeah, and I, I I know I could do it. Yeah. I've seen people do it. I know I know I could. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, it's I like no, that. I don't. I don't. I don't know what you mean. It's like when we're playing uh, Call of Duty and we're like, <laughs> yeah, I'll drop into war, and I think I could do something. And I feel like yeah, a military like <laughs> I feel like a Navy Seal. I feel like a Navy Seal. I feel like I get there. Yeah, Green Beret. <laughs> I feel like I get it because I've seen how I, I'm yeah. really good at reloading. <laughs> it's like no, you're not. No, you're not. You're not good at it. You think you're good at it, but I, I also appreciate people who are like excited and they're like young and they're like i want to i want to fucking change yeah. my life i want to do this thing i think that's the uh, the right energy the 100 percent. i think you know? that's where it starts yeah i think that's when i hear it i'm like hey it's almost like yeah. it's almost like the honeymoon phase yes you know you're in love it's the honeymoon phase of your your love you're enamored it's with exactly your, what it is yeah i think any good passion i think starts from that place yeah with with all arts with all anything like that yeah like you're gonna love the shit out of it, yeah. but get ready for the fucking grind, Ooh. dude. Cause it's Ooh. bad, dude. That this is not an easy road. Yeah, 
I was in some dark shit. Yeah. This past like I, we talked about this last. I'm not gonna yeah. talk about it again, bro. But hey, bro, you're you're in like everyone's in dark shit even without COVID. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like it's it's hard either dude, without it, dude. Yes, but but like you, it was it was as if it's like you're living the life you've always wanted to live but didn't know it for six years of your life. So that's what I was doing. Yeah, for six years of my life, it was just a constant like this. <laughs> Just a slow, gradual, like a good stock, yep. like Apple. Just fucking <laughs> slow, gradual increase in my in, in my life and like my value of what I was doing and and my my quality of life. Everything was fucking relationship. Everything. Mm. <laughs> I'm like, dude, this is the best yeah, life ever, ready. bro. This is oh, the shit. best life ever. Fucking what, dude? I'm in Cali. I'm in these meetings. It's gonna be so yep. next year is the features, and then we're holy fuck, we made it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Beverly Hills, man. Like it was crazy, yeah. and and then February hits, and it's like, what virus? <laughs> it was like that. It was like, I think I'm gonna move out that town, dude. dude. <laughs> yes. in a month, dude. In a month, I'm out of here for six months. I'm chilling, dude. I got shit to do. I'm about to take over. Get son. ready, world. <laughs> Dude, and everything was telling me that. Every person yeah. I met, every fucking door that opened, every new Bro, relationship made. I was watching it. Dude. I it was, was watching it happen. I thought I like unlocked the keys, to, yeah. like, the, the, the Dude, door I to like that, man. my life. I was like, I, I figured it that. out. Just by just by accepting that I'm an actor and like, I'm going to pursue this thing. Yeah. When I was 20 years old. Yeah. By doing that and yeah, going through yeah, the yeah. hardship in the beginning, it like created this fucking path where it was just effort, like a feather, yep. dude. Like like the wind was taking me exactly where I needed to fucking go. Yep. Yep. And uh not that there wasn't hard work involved, it was a lot of hard work, but like I loved it. Yeah. I was never unhappy doing it. Mm. So <laughs> virus comes. I'm like, why is everyone why is everyone freaking out? I remember talking to Carly, shout out Carly, at uh at the fun ground. Yeah. And she's like, Yeah, I think there's like some crazy thing happening with everyone's selling their stuff. I'm like, Carly, why is there why is the stock market crashing? What's happening? Yeah. Like, Bro, well, I remember we were all there. Were we were you there too? Yeah, I think we were all there. And she's like, the stock market's crashing. I'm like, why is this stuff why is everyone selling their stocks? She's like, Oh, it's some virus. I'm like, so what? I remember saying <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah. I remember we were all like I was like, Fuck why are people shit, selling yeah, what stock are... if it's a virus? Like, yeah. who cares? <laughs> what an idiot I was, dude. And that from that moment on, bro, it's been like a... I think I've learned that with the ups come the downs in life, bro. And just as high up as I was, that's as far down as I fell. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I've had... I've, I've had it's just... It, it varies. But now I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm on a, I'm on a upswing now. Mm. Somewhat. Yeah, I actually do feel like there's... Things are kind of lightening up. A bit. A little bit. And I don't want to speak too soon, man. I don't want to jinx it, dude. Knock on wood, but... Where, how much I, wood is in this base? I feel, I feel all right. You know, I feel like things are looking better. All right? Yeah. Which is kind of shitty to say. Because like, so much no. shit's happening. Yeah, and so much terrible <laughs> so shit's happening. So much terrible shit's happening. But like... Hey, dude. The homie. Chadwick Boseman. Oh, dude. Yes, I want to bring this up, too. Dude, oh, that man. was crazy to hear, man. That was a rough one, dude. That was a rough one to hear. You know what I didn't realize that he, what he was from? From uh, cuz I I didn't really I didn't watch like Avengers and I didn't watch you didn't, but dude, I didn't uh, I shouldn't even have said that cuz I should have just said I said it. You should just I'm trying not to lie anymore. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. <laughs> but I did watch uh he did the uh, the James Brown. Yes, he did. The biopic thing? The James yeah, Brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I didn't he know did, that was uh, him, man. He did Jackie Robinson. Yeah, that too. What was it? 20, 42. 42. That was the first time I saw him. Really? Yeah. Was that, Damn. And I was like, oh, this just, guy's unbelievable. I hate just I hate when like I don't know someone that well. Like, especially as like an actor. You have to go back and like And I go back and I watch and I'm like, this is such a fucking good yeah. you know, person. Yeah. And dude, I didn't hear anything about him having cancer at all. That's the thing. I feel that, like he just hit it like, he so did, well, man. man. He did, he hit it's it. It's crazy. Imagine, imagine you get exactly what you want to, like you're doing, well, actually he started as a director yeah, and then he became an actor kind of like in this yeah, weird yeah. way. He was a lot. Yeah. But he, uh, for four years when he got diagnosed, he did the Black Panther while he was sick. Dude, that's, oh, I didn't even think about that, man. He was doing all I didn't even think about hearing those words. If you go back and watch interviews that he did while he was like doing Black Panther press and like uh -huh. all the press on the, the films that he did. Dude, he was probably, fuck he's, it, I'm going. He's the most present, 
per and and there, there's a quote he had. Oh, now that I think about it, it's fucking heartbreaking. I gotta pull it up. I pull, it pull it up. It up. But he was so hyper present. Yeah. And he was such a good artist and actor. And you think that he's prepping. He saw the bigger picture on everything that he was doing. Mm. He saw that Black Panther was going to show the young black community yeah. that you can be king too. <laughs> so he did it yeah. while he was sick, man. from Dying from cancer. He knew that. Dude, I can't even imagine like getting that those that news and then like, I don't know. That's crazy to actually think would, about. I, I I try I put myself in I try to even yeah like if you were think given, about if you were given like a timer you know like I don't how know would you what react? I do I mean I I feel like I fold like I, I like with this this virus stuff I was like it's not fair and I just folded and yeah. I was like pitiful about my life yeah. and I was like, he didn't pity himself yeah he just I mean I don't know behind closed doors what he did but he just fucking I don't know man yeah it's just sad man it is. Cause he he was, he was a great actor, but like he was a great guy. Yeah. There was a story I read. He um was in a bookshop. Uh-huh. This is again like another example of him paying it forward. Yeah. And doing it for a purpose. He was in a bookshop. He uh, he was approached by an, another young black actor, right? And the guy was like asking him a bunch of questions. And so the store clerk was watching this, and he was like, "I watched him talk to this young guy mm. about acting." And he was just answering questions. And he said it was about for a half hour. So he stayed for a half hour and spoke to this, this one guy, this one younger guy about acting. And like oh, took his time sure. out of his day to do that. And then he came to the counter and he bought his books. And then he pulled out another stack of books. And he said, I want to pay for these for him. What? I, he goes, uh, he's going to need these. And then he just, he said, keep them on the side for him. And he left. So he didn't even want the thanks for it. It wasn't about that. Oh my God. It was about giving tools and resources to another human being for the for the purpose of like him gaining what he's already got yeah like paying it forward yeah giving Damn, back to man. like Fuck. your community you know your people that's it it was unbelievable when i heard that i was like my god yeah. oh here we go here's the quote so this think of this quote mm. and think of what he was doing in these four years you have to cherish things in a different way when you know the clock is ticking you are under pressure you have to cherish things, cherish things a different way when you know the clock is ticking. He knew his clock was ticking. Yeah. Damn, dude. At some point in that treatment, you, you're, you're told it's a no-go, man. Yeah. There's no wonder he was so good. Yeah. You know how hyper-present you have to be to know, like, this is the last... This is... I don't know. Yeah. I have three years, maybe. Four years. I don't know. Yeah. But it's, this is ending. I have this to do, and then that's it. I, your work would be out of control if you lived your life that way. Yeah. And he made some fucking beautiful art. Yeah, man. God rest his soul. Yeah, rest you in know, peace. Man. He, he's, a, he's a beautiful man while he was here. He left a huge legacy, and, and he changed a lot of things, I believe, with his art. So it, it, it empowers me to say, you know, when I'm questioning art as like a, a feasible thing to do with my life, Fuck yeah, it is, man. Yeah. He changed the Hell he yeah. changed the world. Yeah. Damn, what an example too. For every, even for even for everyone, especially for for black like younger black people. Yeah. But yeah, for everyone, for everyone. Wow, we saw that. Yeah. I mean, I saw. I'm white. I'm moving the fuck out of me, and that changed my perspective. I'm yeah. like, this ne- this kind of story needs to be told more. Yep. Yeah. I was fucking crying my eyes out watching it for the younger black community yeah. so that they could, because now they believe that they can be king, but before they didn't, yeah. they weren't showing enough of that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, yeah, of course. Of course. I, I, it's just, it was, it was really, what he left is huge. And I just, I just think there's a reason why when Kobe died, it was a big deal. Yep. There's a reason when Chadwick went, yeah. it affected us different, you know? Dude, it's a bad year, man. Terrible year. It's fucking bad year. terrible year. And it's not over. Yeah. Which is sad, but hopefully it is. And Dude, we got a like couple more months. The losses, man. I was I actually watched something. Wait, September uh, almost. Yeah, August thirty. It's September. Yeah, it's gonna be September when it comes out. Yeah. I was watching. I think I sent it to you, but it was a uh, Dave Chappelle. Um, oh yeah. And uh, I actually, I mean, I love Dave Chappelle. I think he's one of the top five comedians yeah, like ever. He is definitely. Um, but uh, in my opinion, a lot of things. I I did know about his one. Uh, he had a deal for. Uh, I don't know if it was the. 
Chappelle Show. Show. Yeah, for the Chappelle yeah, Show, right? Yeah. And um, it was $50 million. Yes. And he like turned it down. Yes. And he disappeared for a long time. Yes. And uh, I didn't know that the reasons and shit behind it. And it's crazy to me that, I mean, this was 1994, which I'm sure racial things were kind of worse than now. But um, the reason he turned it down was because they wanted to change, uh, I think, the co-main star mm-hmm. from a black woman to a white woman. Uh-huh. And they were trying to, like, hint at it in a way. Yeah. And uh, he, like, like this is, it's the Chappelle, it's his show, show man. Yeah. It's his story. It's his whole idea. But he has a team everything. of producers that are whispering. In his yeah. Ear. And yeah. It's just, I think that, that's one of those things that just like, is like, just like Chadwick Boseman, like a powerful, like decision, decision or movement, you know, a person takes mm. to like, I don't know, empower or show that, you know, this is a path that they can take and they can still make decisions like that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That maybe like, I'm sure he didn't know what the fuck was going to happen after that. Yeah. You know, if he was ever going to be able to come back or working after yeah. that, it's like, and he was able to do that and just leave, yeah. you know? Yeah. It's weird. It's just like, a, I don't know. I felt, it felt very inspirational to me. Yeah. You know, that even at that point, you still, you know, if you're in the right mindset, you figure things out like that. Right. You know, you don't just do shit. Yeah. Because you're giving the fucking bag. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Straight up. Yeah. You're giving the bag, but it's not yeah. like, it's not everything, man. It's definitely not. That's so crazy, Mike. I have an audition. I have another audition. You do? Yeah. Congrats. Bro. Your boy's out here. Hey, how's it feeling? I mean, it feels good. The hey, first, you have any tips for people going back? First, <laughs> any tips? What you're first doing? First audition was trash, which is okay. <laughs> it wasn't trash. It was just not up to That's my liking. Fine. I'm rusty. This audition, I feel different about, man. Yeah. I actually relate to the work a lot more, which is like, if you relate to the work, you're, you're, half your work's done. Uh, I feel like if you don't relate, it's going to be a tough gig no matter what. Yeah. So it was good, like the first read through of the script. They sent me the whole script, and I was able to like read through the whole thing. And the first instinct I have was like, I connect. Like this is this is where I'm at in my life right now. So I was like, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Good. And then you know I started analyzing, doing all the grunt work. Um, but I already feel like I'm half in it. Yeah, it feels like Dave it doesn't yes. feel like I'm trying to do a good audition. Yeah, you know, I'm just being me. I'm gonna good. Myself. Good. So it feels good. Um, I have no tips. <laughs> no tips. Just, that's fine hopefully get excited about whatever you're gonna do get excited about it that's hell yeah thing. get excited uh let's go to but but oh so is it, the the script is about oh okay doing the thing you love mm. for the the this is the essence of the story doing the thing you love uh the way you would like to do it or mm-hmm. doing it for the bag uh, the oh, way really? others would like to do it would like you to do it Oh, that's and exactly we're, what we're talking about. Exactly. It's Shit. 100 That's why it's weird you said that. Yeah. Um and it made me think like cuz there's a way to play a game in this thing and like dance. Yeah. And do what people want you to do and then that's when you'll yep, rise you'll, up. Mm-hmm. And then you'll have everything. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like that's appealing sometimes. Sometimes yeah. when it's like moments like when your career isn't moving and you've been doing the thing how you'd like to do it, yep. sticking to your heart, and it's not working anymore. Mm. It's very appealing to be like, what's the gimmick I could do? What, what do you need What yep. do you need me to wear? Yep. You know, uh, who do I got to, whose baby do you know I got to kiss to you know, like... You know what's weird? I feel like that... Like a politician. That thing happens all the fucking time. Uh. And like, we don't really know... Like, with... with uh, like new movies or whatever it's coming out it's like yeah. everything's following trends and shit so you're always adapting to like the new thing mm-hmm. and like you can choose to still stick true to what you're doing or stick to fucking what the new thing's happening yes right yes you can choose to wear a fucking denim shirt but when it fucking leaves you know Chambray. and no one fucking was it yeah then, yeah yeah that's that's that's, that's weird because yeah. uh, I don't know I don't know what the right. I don't know if there is a right answer. I don't you know? know either. I don't. I don't want to like act like I'm. I got my my high horse. I'm like you got to stick to your guns always. Yeah, because I don't know if that's even. Yeah, I feel I like sometimes know. you got to adapt to it. I don't know. There's. I'm sure. It never will be the world's changing, man. Yes. Are you gonna change? You're gonna with change it? with it. That's the, that's the ultimate question. I get that a lot. But but, I don't know. You know when something feels right and something feels wrong. Yeah. Yeah. I knew in that audition I felt wrong. Yeah. I knew I was put. There's a. Cl- I have a clip for you. Yeah, I should have sent it to you. Actually, I could send it to you. You can put it on. The, I'll let you put it on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. 
But I'll, I'll play it for you right now. <laughs> I can't believe I'm telling you. Boy. This is in between takes. This is a real me reaction. Oh, really? To, in, during the audition. You're going to freak out. Oh, boy. Uh, I can't believe I'm sending this shit. <laughs> Come on. Here, here. So so this is, this is, here. Ready? Oh, boom. Oh. So just hit play. And put it, put them, put it by the mic. <laughs> this take is garbage. It's fucking garbage, man. Love. Why am I forcing that? It's not fucking there. I'm not doing it. Just in, right into it again. Right what into it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Holy shit. So I knew but I was. Yeah, but I you're knew, feeling it. No, but I was feeling how mad I was at myself. I went, yeah, that's more. That's be the best acting I did in the whole fucking <laughs> audition. Yeah, because I was like, I was like pushing. Yeah, I was trying to like. Yeah, make you're trying some to fucking <sighs> yeah. song yeah, yeah, and yeah. dance happen Fuck. for them. Yeah, it wasn't because I, I was like, I gotta get this out. I gotta fucking. I have to express it now, as if it's the last time. Mm. Now in this moment, it wasn't that. It was. It was none. No craft. It was just me doing what I used to do. Yeah, because I'm rusty. Yeah. And Damn. I was on vacation, and there was like twelve people in the house, and it was babies crying. And it was, it was tough. Yeah. But I, I, I didn't, ha I haven't practiced, and I didn't have like that. That, oh, yeah. that's how I do things. Yeah. Whoop, and I'm in. That's frustrating. Man. It was. That's how frustrating that's I frustrating. was, bro. Fuck. How crazy did I look? Yeah. That's the best acting. I, I mean, I've seen you before like that. So that's that's yeah. That's, that's what it was. I'm, I'm glad you're push. doing it though. I'm glad you're fucking in it. Thanks. You bro. know, because you can still see that you you want to fucking do it in those eyes. Shout out to my agent. Boom. For these auditions. Big shout out. Mm. I love you dearly. I know you care about me and I care about you too. Thank you. That's dope. I do. I care about That's you. great. She's the shit. Yeah? Yeah. Fuck yeah, man. Um, hey, I know I she it. wants me to shout her out or not, so I'm not going to say her name. <laughs> but anyway. Keep it to yourself, dude. Don't give her, any, give her, other, don't give her any other work. She's mine. <laughs> She's mine. Here I got another uh, little article. Oh. New Jersey go. permitted to reopen theaters Friday. <gasps> Dude, I, I mean, I actually looked at movies around here, like theaters, yeah. and there's some showing, like today, like what? literally. Not kidding, not even kidding. Three. How does that work now? I don't know. See, that's that's what I don't know. I'm not going in a theater if it's like everyone's bunched up, obviously. No, nah, I don't think it is. It can't be. It's probably spread out, right? The drive-ins look sick. Dude, I want to go to a fucking drive-in. I've been, I've been talking to Lena about it. I was like, I really want to go to a drive-in. The only one I know is in, uh, in Warwick. Warwick, yeah. Yep. yeah. It's the only one I know. Um, I'm gonna try to go this week. It's driving to any. Okay, any of them. I'll well, see which one. Let's. We'll be careful. You know what I'm saying? Don't be the first. I'm one gonna go. There. I'm gonna be the first well, one walking in. All right. So hey, Friday when it opens, <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm the guy that never goes to the thing when it first drops. You know? What I'm, do you, really? Are you that guy? You're you're down with that shit. You'll show up to something when it's like the night it drops. The movie. The movie. The movie's no. premiering midnight. Harry no. Potter. I remember I always wanted to go, but I could never go. I never my did. My parents it. never loved me. But I, do you see why? Yeah. It's crazy. It's stupid. It's insane. <laughs> Wait three days. Wait in a fucking tent. Yeah, bro. <laughs> get, get out of here. I, 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 I'm not built for that get kind of thing, bro. Here. I'm shit not built sucks. for that. No way. There's always a fight. There's always a fight. I don't need that. Yeah. It's always a problem. Looking at my girl. That's my seat. Boo, boo. <laughs> Popcorn and it's a fight. <laughs> Popcorn. I think I've been a one and there was a, or two. There was a fight both times. I'm sick uh, of it. I, I got so so theaters are just opening. That's that's what's happening. I, I think twenty is it fully or twenty five percent? Let's see. Uh, the film or gift brochure for movie theaters. Twenty five percent capacity. Boom. Twenty five. Up to a hundred and fifty people. Well, wait a second. Oh, how many people go in a? How many in people a theater? Usually in a theater. I feel like there's one hundred fifty seats. Me too. <laughs> Patrons who purchase tickets together may be seated next to each other, but separate groups must be separated by at least six feet. What six feet? Is it two seats? Oh, maybe it means 150 people in the... In the space. In the th in the Fit theater. In the space. Yeah. So not 150 you're going in. Like in one fucking theater. What's 25% of one? In the whole um, building. What's Quick math. 25% of 150. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's... 30... For, 37 God, people. 37... Yeah, I would say thirty-seven. <laughs> Stephen, Stephen, fact check. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Stevie. Uh, okay, so that's California, New York. Oh wow! Patrons purchase tickets together, maybe seated next yeah, to each other. I just read. Huh? 
Well, wait a second. I just read that. Really? <laughs> Out loud to you. <laughs> so there you go. New Jersey was one of the only four states that had not reopened theaters to the public. What? New Jersey was the only only one of the four. So all these states already had theaters open. That's crazy. Well, North Carolina don't dude, give that, a fuck. Let's honestly think like... Hey, let's keep it real. North Carolina don't give a fuck. <laughs> fuck dude. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Imagine being in um, like the, like in like North Dakota right now. Like what? There's nothing probably happening, dude. Everyone's happened. probably just walking around like normal. Yeah, probably nothing happened. Dude, I've never thought about North Dakota or South Dakota. Me neither. Not, not really. Isn't that kind of sad when you think about it? Uh... <laughs> You just don't care? <laughs> I mean, I don't know if it's sad. Maybe, I guess. I don't know. I want to travel. Maybe I one day I should go. I want to get know? an RV and travel all the school. Go like a random place. You know, my parents did that. Well, not my parents. My mother and her, my grandfather, grandmother, and my aunt, uh-huh. when my mom was young, they had an RV. Or not an RV, like a camper. Uh-huh. Like when you attach. They went around? They drove the uh, 50 states. Really? All of them. One day I and that slide definitely. And yeah, one yeah. day, dude. I, do I definitely want to do that. Me too. Oh, a bourbon. Sorry. That's good on the podcast. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, this was just uh, weird. I found this random headline. So Hotel Ron, obviously in the film. I watched this in fucking like uh, yeah. middle school, yeah. high school, yeah. dude. Yeah. But dude, I read this and it's crazy. The guy that it was based on, Paul, I don't want to destroy Whoa. this. Who says a bagina. Held on terror. Who says a bagina. He got arrested, I think in... Um, in Rwanda, I think because he went back or something. But mm. this whole time, dude, since 1966, he's had like uh, warrants out for him F- at, in Rwanda from there. It's crazy, like, it, wow. and it hasn't gone away. So he went back or something or somewhere near there, and there were people still looking for him. Whoa. And they since fucking 96. and they captured him. So now he's like in some jail or some shit. Twenty five years. Isn't that later? nuts? Huh? Twenty four years. The FBI of the Rwanda, dude. The RIB the informs RIB. the general public that through intentional cooperation, Paul Reservoir Rwanda was arrested and they is just in custody him. of the RIB. They snatched him. They just fucking took him, dude. Isn't that w- weird to think about? Yeah, if you're wanted, how, if you're wanted in another country, though, like they, that shit don't go away, bro. You go back, you're fucked. Who, who, uh, think of um, famous director, bro. Uh, Roman Polanski. Isn't he wanted here for rape in the, in America? And he fled to France, oh. and they just accept him. They're like, hey, wait, I feel like I'm, Polanski, play, dude. I'm I'm thinking of another person that uh, went to Greece or something. Mm. It's not. I don't want. I don't want to say. I don't want to say Tom Hanks. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to say Tom. Hanks. Well, it's not Tom Hanks. <laughs> it's, it's not. <laughs> but someone I don't know. Someone flew to flew, like went to Greece to escape those charges because supposedly in Greece, like child the. Hey. Molestation is not like a it's like a mental illness or something. Whoa. It's getting dark. It's getting dark on the podcast now. It's very dark. They classify it as a mental illness. So you don't go to jail. You get help. Okay. I mean that's like that's like what what, I mean, but I, you that's know, that tribal thing I talked about, remember? Yeah. And it's like we don't we don't we don't um we don't uh punish. Yeah. We try to relate and understand and correct. Yes. Yes. Which I I get. I do get. You know it's weird I wrote this. Uh, cause I was thinking about cancel culture and I don't want to just want to bring this up cause I wrote canceling does not move us forward. Mm. Deleting someone from a space of entertainment or society does not, um, inherently do anything or move anything forward. Doesn't fix anything. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I thought, I don't know, man. I've been, I've been really thinking about that, man. What does, if you get, when someone gets canceled, mm. what happens? Like what really gets, like, what's the benefit? I, mm, you're removing. Like, are we fixing anything, or are we just removing someone from a society? Like a, because for all you know, that could still be happening. Right, you're removing a one individual who has perpetrated a, some terrible thing that society says isn't right. But you're you're. But is not anyone like, trying to help them? You think? I don't know. I don't think so. You know, but that's, I don't, that's I don't what know. I'm saying. Is like, yeah. There's weird. There's there's. Women that send shit to, to uh, killers, to killers in jail. Yeah. No, so there's definitely like people that thing. send shit to these people, you know, that that's are a, fucked up. That's a huge thing. Did you know that's a big deal? Yeah. Like a, like a it's huge. Very With um, thing. Uh, OJ, that was a fucking huge. Some of the shit you read is insane. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. 
I don't know. Yeah, but no, it's, it's a good point, Mike. Yeah. Honestly, it's a good point. It's a good talking point. Cause, cancellation shit, man. You know. Dude, the thing with Alan? We're living in it. Have you been following the Alan stuff? A few people said she's a piece of trash. Yeah. She treated us terrible. Yeah. And Dude, three like, producers walked away. Cancel her? Well, because if you don't get yeah. out now, yeah. you're going to die. Like, you're, you're going to be socially, like, Dude, but butchered. The, the craziest thing, I think she's coming back. To do the show. Whoa. I, so, I watched the video today that said she's going to come back on the 6th or something. Really? Which is like, I don't know, dude. I don't know if it's the greatest idea. Hey, lay low for a while, Ellen. But I don't know. Maybe it's the right move. Maybe go to Key West for a little while. Yeah. Just chill out. <laughs> Take a yeah, month. Chill out. You know? Take a month. No, but that's what you're told to do. You're told, like uh, Brian Callen. Like, that's a perfect example. Yes. Like, he... He has some hey, charges. Against is he him. even doing the right? Like, do you know what he's doing now? I don't no, know if it's the right thing or doing. not. I don't know what he's doing. You don't? Well, I heard he's like, he's, I'm not backing he's down. He's doing not... Patreon shows. So talk, talk to, talk to everyone about so what, what happened. So what Patreon is? No, first, first start with okay. what happened with him. Oh, so with so, Brian Callen, he got. He's accused. a comedian. Yes, he's a, a comedian. He's pretty well known in the podcasting like, LA scene, yeah. especially with podcasting yeah. stuff. He's uh, like the whole Joe Rogan crew. Yeah. And um, basically, he had um, a sexual assault. Uh, accusation mm -hmm. against him mm -hmm. for someone that he worked with like a long time ago. It's like 16 years ago. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah which is pretty long. And uh, it's supposedly it was per a person that he was like in a relationship with right. and then they left because um, I think she was with someone or something. Uh -huh. And uh, it just didn't work out. You know what I mean? But after 16 years it came out that he was uh, he sexually assaulted her and that's why they split and then all this stuff. Um, which is it's tough, especially 16 years ago. I think it's okay for her to, you know, to be able to say things, yeah. you know, and be able to put that story out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know after 16 years if that's really, I, I get it. Maybe you weren't able to talk about it because of, you know, mental reasons or personal reasons. Yeah. Um, But basically he was, you know, canceled by the whole fucking thing. And like the, the norm, he said it a bunch of times. He said, lost his podcast, right? Yeah, like he lost the whole thing. He can't even do it. He He's did like he anymore? was doing a. I think they did a couple test episodes for uh, through Patreon, which Patreon's like a. You have to it's kind pay, of like a supportive right? uh, to support basically. People started to like. Let's say we did the You Are Here podcast Patreon. Uh, we put some like. That's an idea. It is a good idea. I should probably do it. Hey, wait, hey. I should probably do it. Hey, hold on a second. Did we just stumble support. on some shit? You could. I mean, you could support, but it's basically people deciding to. Support you support monthly. Like, yeah, I think it's monthly. Like you. you can do as much as much as you want. And there's different tiers of uh, you know, maybe it's a good idea. I don't know. It may not be a bad idea. Hey, maybe you get a tier, you get a shirt or something, or a hat or something like that. I don't know. You get you get a you get a hotline. You get you get to call us whenever you want. You get to be welcome over for dinner. <laughs> you come over come over to your hair podcast for dinner. Why do you sound like Sebastian Muscat? I was on trying to do the Italian. Come over for dinner. Dinner and the cookies and meat. Well, <laughs> Take your shoes off. <laughs> Join us for dinner. A little Italian meatballs and go in the soup. What would you cook for our friends at, at the Patreon? Us? I cook you a chicken palm. Uh, mm. You ahead. want it on the plate or on a sandwich? Mm. <laughs> it choice is yours. This is Patreon's coming. So know, ahead, maybe I'll, I'll look into it. We'll look into it. It's a, it's a lot of work, but I'll figure it out. We'll see. And it's also a lot of commitment you got to do because okay. it's kind of exclusive you got to do. But basically, they tried doing a show um, on Patreon. through Patreon you. where you can only get it on there, which yeah. is kind of weird that it's like a paywall kind mm -hmm. of thing to mm -hmm. get this person that's canceled. Yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> you know, yeah. it's kind of, it's, it's a weird feeling. Yeah. Um, but I think they had to stop it because there was some uh, problems with it. Um, and I think he's doing another so show with Sam Tripoli. He started oh, starting one on pa through Patreon only, which wow. is another weird. Like I don't know, and it's a conspiracy one, Whoa. which sounds kind of appealing. Kind of cool, damn. But basically, I, but I don't like know where he, I was even going. He lost. With this. Well, he lost his podcast, which yeah. is his main source. I would say his main source of income now. Yeah. Uh, well, he was on. He's on television, especially because yeah, he was an actor. Yeah, he was in like the Goldbergs. He but he was on a very successful podcast. Yes, that and, was uh, yeah. Yeah, he would sell tickets through his podcast for his, oh, his, yeah. his uh, stand-up shows and everything. I mean, it connected everything. The bread and butter, yeah. yeah. And um, that's all gone now. Yep. So, so, but he said in a video, he's like, "I, I'm, I did not do this." So yeah. he stood up and said, "I, I, I yep, he I'm denied totally everything. denying that this happened." And he explained what happened to on his side. So he was told to like go away, which is what everyone's told to do, and he didn't do it. Yeah. Now you look at like a Cristalia, and you're like, "Where you at, homie?" Yeah. 
He's like, I'm going to lay low for fucking two yeah. years and I'm going to come back and have a career again. Like, Louis yeah, C. that's. K. And it's yeah. shady as fuck, but it, hey, it, ha- it, it happens. Hey, but Louis C.K. is doing show of Dave Chappelle on his. Dude, did you, do you see what Dave Chappelle's doing? No. Nope. On his ranch thing? No. Dude, he just has his own ranch. He has people buy tickets and he just does shows. Does shows? And it's supposed to be amazing. Whoa. He flies out everyone. Bill Burr, like the top, the top of the top. Wow. And it's supposed to be the best shows, but he had Louis C.K. on. Wow. I don't know, man. It's it's weird. It's definitely weird. I don't know. I don't know. Because you, you can't you can't make a... You can deny through a publicist. Even if you deny shit, that doesn't do anything. No, but you have to disappear yeah. until like... This is the cancel culture we live in. Yep. Even if you didn't do the thing, let's say. Yeah. If like a person... Let's just take some like, like um, hypothetical example. Yeah. If you were accused of something... That's like a, like a sexual assault and you deny it mm. and you know in your heart that that didn't happen. You know, you, you never even met the person, let's say, but they accused you of something. Mm. If you deny it publicly, then you look like kind of an asshole. Yep. If you step back and do the, like the, the crystalline route where you're like, yep. my publicist makes a statement. You know, I'm sorry that this happened. I'm glad she spoke up, but like yeah. this never happened. And I don't know. I'm, I don't know what happened with him. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe it did. But he has to disappear now in order to have a career in a couple of years. Yeah. It's crazy. And you know, a big thing, especially with podcasting too, and these most of these people we're talking about are from And there's podcasts. no reform, by the way. There's no reform. No. He ain't, get, he ain't getting better. No. no. You know what I mean? I mean, they do have families and friends that yeah. I'm sure maybe hold them accountable to an extent, but I don't know. It's, a it's, lot of his friends were like, fuck you, homie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of people doing money. Yeah. But um. But I don't know what the right thing to do the is. The thing either. is, I think with... Happening. W- especially with Brian's case, his podcast was done with a partner. Mm-hmm. You know, with Brendan Schaub. And <laughs> it's tough because now that's split up. And are you going to... Are you going to close... The, the podcast is still going, mm-hmm. obviously, with guest hosts and stuff. Which is good because like they can still have sponsors. Mm-hmm. I think the big thing is sponsorships. Huge. You know, that's the thing. Why would Chris do it? He wasn't really doing it for you the know. Sponsor. He wasn't doing it for just the fun of well, podcasting. What is he doing though? He was doing it for the sponsors. Sponsors. Sure, you know, and I'm sure for a little bit because he liked doing it. Yeah. But uh, main thing, if if you're not really doing it for that, it's the main thing is you're providing entertainment for fans that are going to come to shows. Yeah. And you're going to make money from that, money, right? Yeah. And you're going to have sponsorships and all this shit. Yeah. Um. So. I think the right move would be to say something, and especially deny things. Yeah, you know, if you didn't do it, obviously. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's 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 tough to to really say what to do. Yeah, because obviously we're not in that fucking position. <laughs> I don't know what the fucking. <laughs> Thank God. Imagine being there. I can't. It's like, what bro. would you do? I can't. Like, really, what the fuck would you I do? I can't even imagine, bro. I can't even imagine. It doesn't matter what you do. <laughs> no. You know, like you have no choice after that. You have no choice. Yeah, there's nothing. It's very uneven. Yeah. I think that's fair to say. It's a very uneven system. But it's very quick. It's easy on Twitter to be like, I'm ganging up on a motherfucker. Yeah. That's a bad act. That's Does everyone say so? Fuck yeah, because obviously it's a bad act. If that happened, you're a piece of shit. And then it's like, yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah, fuck him. Yeah, you got it. What a terrible. And then you, you go after him. You dig up all the old tweets. You dig up all the old videos. You make little new clips. You... And you kill the man's career social. Yeah. You kill his social like uh, yeah. it's, identity. It's nuts because you, you in, man or woman. In these things with all this canceling is you go to the Supreme Court of the internet. Yes, you know, like <laughs> it's uh, it's there uh, is no like actual justice. Yeah, and that's the main thing is like if that happened, there needs to be justice. It needs to go to. I if, think it just needs to go to court well, to be proven. There needs to be justice. There needs to be... Um, oh, my God. There needs to be... A, 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 you're held accountable for your actions. If you are accused and you are found guilty of that, you need to be uh, reprimanded for that. Yeah. You, you need to. Yeah. I don't want to live in a country where that doesn't exist. You know what thought it came into my head that's so fucked up? What? If, if you got wrongfully um, me too or whatever, and you were like, I'm going to sue you because you did this to me. For defamation. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know if that ever, if that ever happened. That'd be nuts, dude. Imagine be just, you can't make that decision. Obviously. But imagine if you were accused and you didn't do it. Exactly. That's would, what I'm wouldn't saying. you feel like that? It's like you're literally just sh- destroying someone. Yeah. Because even if it's not true, you're always going to be labeled that. 
Yeah. And a, like, yeah, that's oh, stain. remember? It's a stain, man. That's the yeah. worst thing you can do. Remember Rod? Rod was, you know, whatever. Or remember J- Jeff? Yeah, didn't he have an accusation in 2010? You know yeah. what I mean? Like, they're always it's everywhere that. on the internet. Everyone knew. It, it stains you. It definitely stains you. Um, cancel culture, baby. You're here, podcast episode 84. Boom. Hey, let's move on. Subscribe to the Patreon. <laughs> Come over for dinner. You're telling me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got a I got a couple um this is kind of late but I always wanted to go over on the podcast because we never did um you know you know Garth Brooks right oh yeah you know Garth Brooks right <laughs> yes. this is what I want to bring up Garth this is your Brooks. your podcast episode eighty four okay Garth Brooks is a uh, I don't even know what he is he's a country singer right yes he is and um I just want to go through <laughs> this kind of sparked my interest because you saw the um the celebrity like. I've been watching celebrities like what what they do in these times of like protesting Black Lives Matter, coronavirus, yes. and trying to like be politically correct and like correcting their you know and being picking these sides and trying mm-hmm. to like I don't know empower people mm-hmm. you know like they have some sort of power to give you right like a random person yeah because they're a lot of people like they're like they're on this pedestal almost well you yeah, know? yeah. And they'd be able to talk down and be like hey guys. Yeah. It's gonna be all right. Just gotta do it, you know. It's <laughs> yeah. gotta really do it. So I have uh, two people I actually want to go into. I want to go through Garth, Garth Brooks. Brooks and Matthew McConaughey. Whoa. <laughs> okay. So we're starting. With Garth? So we're, just, we're just gonna get a little silly, right? Okay. We're gonna let's get, get a little silly. silly. We're let's gonna watch some funny clips. Let's have go. a good time, right? Let's do it. Let's do it. Have well, you seen I guess this video? It's official. We're now on Facebook. <laughs> I really wasn't sure about this at the start, but then a friend of mine said something that just made all kinds of sense. She said, think of it more as a conversation. I like that. <laughs> what I'm already finding out on my own is that it's wiping the walls out between you and me, and I really like that. Uh-huh. It allows us into each other's worlds, or I, I guess in my case, a hotel room. What? Oh, when I think about things I want to post, I want to post cool stuff, slick stuff, slick neat stuff. But most of the stuff I'm going to post is going to be raw stuff like this. Uh-huh. This is just who I am. That breath is weird, man. You're very so this weird. This is truly a conversation. Then I say, let the conversation begin. What the fuck is this? You like that? What is he saying? You like that? Good stuff. Slick stuff. Raw stuff. Slick. Is that how you talk? Dude, ne- I, I've never met anyone that speaks like that. It's like he's introducing like a like Rocky Horror Show. Like he's he's in a... This is the weirdest, the weirdest shit I've ever seen. Here, I'm just, I'm just, I just want to record it all. Yeah. yeah. Oh, perfect. Boom. <laughs> this is insane. Slick oh, stuff. Slick stuff. Cool stuff. <laughs> it's so weird because, you know, these people both have this, like, style of, like, I don't, I feel like Garth Brooks, I feel like they're the same person. <laughs> like, I don't know what it is. Garth and Matthew? Yeah, they just have this weird... We're, we're going to switch between both, right? So okay. that's 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 Garth's big introduction to Facebook. We're breaking down these walls. Well, in this case... My hotel. <laughs> <laughs> what is that fucking creepy ass? I don't know what it is. What's it's creepy. Why do you need to have this entrance? Oh, Garth, Garth. Hey, dude. It's just Facebook. Oh. Hey, my mom has Facebook. What? My dad has Facebook. Yeah. You know, like, he's just getting the people excited, I guess. Uh, here, here we go. I want him to see see me. It's Matthew um, McConaughey. I think I saw this. Look, this is my first. I love Matthew. Venture into sharing myself and my views. This is another intro, and I'm a little bit nervous about it. Got gotcha. you. Um, Raw, quite frankly. Hey, imagine being nervous <laughs> to get Instagram because <laughs> I'm scared what people are gonna. Well, do. yeah, maybe he's a little insecure. I, it's gonna benefit the. I like. I know I want to have a monologue. I'm not sure I want to have the dialogue. <laughs> but so okay. So he said. What and, he's saying and, is, and you're insane. No, no. What he's and saying is, what he's saying is, I definitely want to speak to people. I'm not sure if I want to have people speak back to me. Is what he's saying. Mm-hmm. I want to have the monologue, not the dialogue. Okay. Go ahead. Learn that you got to have the dialogue to have the monologue, just as you have to have a monologue to have the dialogue. So I don't I'm know looking for. That's all. I'm looking for. <laughs> You lost it there? I lost. That, he, sorry, he lost me. Sharing who I am with you. I'm looking forward okay, to right on. seeing if, uh, if who I am translates, if what I want to share translates. Okay. If gotcha. it tickles your funny bone, if it Ooh. makes you think a second, 
makes your heart swell up a little bit. Got you. If it makes you take a quiet moment for a walk and go, I got to check in with the M and the E. That's me. Hopefully all that's the me. Let's have some fun with it though. And let's, let's again, let's keep the high eye, not the low eye. High eye. High eye. That's a little, that's a little. Rough. Why is it going to be like at this whole the, fucking entrance, dude? The high eye, not the low eye. Hey, Imagine I said shit like that. Let's keep the high eye. Imagine I talked to you like that. Yeah. Like how, <laughs> I'd I love it, you, dude. You reach a level of fame where you're just, my language is so. Who's recording? So, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> my language is so profound. And he's like, yeah. 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 Keep going. Yeah, keep going, keep going man. man. Keep going, man. Yeah, yeah, the high eye. Not the low eye. Remember that. <laughs> the high eye. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> You got, you didn't make a phrase. That's insane. What high eye? The third eye? Is he talking about? What kind of eye is that? I don't know. This, this one's this one's weird. Um, this one's this weird. This is called. Okay. Do it fast. This is called the Kegel exercise. Kegel exercise. Fill in the blank. Okay. Close friends describe me as <laughs> the thumb in the mouth. loyal. Strangers describe me as dude's got history on his shoulders. <laughs> Wanted you to hear that. <laughs> what? The hey, fuck? dude's got history on his shoulders. <laughs> You're dumbfounded, dude. I'm to- because I'm trying to make sense of that. <laughs> All right, Dave, we're gonna do the same exact thing. Kegel exercise. Kegel exercise. We're gonna do a Kegel exercise, right? <laughs> Fill in the blank. Fill in okay. the blank. Close friends describe me as loyal. You? Oh, me? Yeah. Uh, uh, present. Present, okay. I'll do, um, um, uh, res- uh introverted. <laughs> Strangers describe me as Dave. Tall. Tall. <laughs> That's what I said. Okay. Fucking tall. Okay. Um, uh, scary. And Matt? Matthew? Dude's got history on his shoulders. <laughs> Sorry, what, Matt? Look at this guy's face. He's like, only I know that I am. Oh. Only I know that I am 5'11", three quarters. That's true. Hey, more people know that you're 5'11", three quarters than than just you. You 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 hit... I feel you hit a level of fame (laughs) where everyone's like, Matthew's here. Matthew, you can literally Google that. (laughs) You'll fucking find out. 5'11 and three quarters. I'm 5'11 and three quarters. But there's a level of fame where you get everything you want. Or everyone says, like, you're the greatest ever. Yeah. Whatever you say is beautiful. Yeah. You're the most beautiful human being on planet Earth. You're lovely to look at. You're, here's a bunch of money. Just do whatever yeah. you want. That, I think you get to the point where you're like, I can say anything. Yeah. I can say Dude, that's fucking a, that's anything. Kind of, that'd be kind of fun. It'd be the you best. could just make no sense. Without a second thought of, like, are people going to think that's weird that I said that? He doesn't think that. <laughs> no. Dude, he don't give a fuck. I feel like he actually, fe- like, you know what? I think, no, I, I know. Matthew Conner is a good dude. He's a good dude. He is a great he's dude. He's a great guy. He I saw a lot of like things he's really donating and a I lot of shit he's doing for people. He's doing bro. great, man. I'm a huge McConaughey But it's guy. fun. It's fun to kind of like, I don't know, get on, you know, just, just fun. I'm just having fun. Just having a good you know? time. Just a and good he time. would laugh at this too, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I have a couple more. <laughs> oh my god! I have a lot. I have a lot Did of you ever see his Lincoln commercials? That's my favorite commercials. Oh my god! I love these commercials. This is what I want to do. Yeah. I just want to act in commercials like this. Really? No. Just like this? No, but like these kind of commercials are great. You came up with this one. It's not great. It's just a longhorn. That's a big bull. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. And that's a big bull. And guess what? I think that's old Cyrus. 1,800 pounds and do whatever the heck I want. There you go. I can respect that. <sighs> Take a long way. Yeah. Turn right around, baby. Take the long way home. You don't want none of that shit. Osiris. What is that? Some of us hours. I love it. That's why I love him. Does he drive that though? 100%. <laughs> uh, Dude, McConaughey's a G. How far are we in? He's such a G. Oh, we're chilling, dude. <laughs> we, we can have a little fun. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep the high eye, though. We're not the low eye. Gotta get connected to the M and the E. Oh, this one's great. 
You ever seen what this? is this? Do you ever see this one? It's like Hasselhoff this eating a cheeseburger. So good. Bro. I don't like this day. Like ten and a half hours. I looked the clock. I slept an hour and twenty-two minutes. Welcome. It's the best part. To jet lag. So now that I'm wide awake, I think it's a pretty good time for a sip of long branch. There we go. Sip of long branch. <laughs> and some pork cracklings. Wish me luck. Oh. Your oh. teeth are fucked, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> what was that? A pork run? <laughs> a pork. Gregly. <laughs> wow. Hammered there, no? <laughs> hammered? Face, you think hammered or no? To a glass of lumber. No way he's not drunk. He's jet lagged. That's what it is. Come on. He's jet lagged. Well, I've been jet lagged, dude. Matt said he's jet lagged, so he's jet lagged. I got to get on his Twitter. This is unbelievable. <laughs> oh, He's always in a fucking about? great three-piece, well, though. If 2019... Hey, dude. If, <laughs> why are you looking out the window? All his videos, he's just looking away. But that's why I love him. You know? <laughs> that kind of shit is who's, fucking who's awesome. Re who's recording you? Imagine. Is I this just, your wife? And maybe. Does he <laughs> Just yeah, like he's watching like this. He's like, I got to put out the Twitter vid. <laughs> uh, record me. And he's looking out the window. He's just looking away. Maybe he's just nervous, you know. But I'm like, 2020. Yep. What's that about? Well, if 2019. <laughs> Wait, did he say what's that about? He goes 2020. 2020. What's, what's that, that about? about? <laughs> hey, hey, and I'm gonna tell you, it gets worse. If 2019 was be a lot cooler as you did, I'm looking for. Made no sense. 2020 to be a lot cooler, cause we do. See you there. Made no sense. That's very rough. Let's man. go through. Let's let's try. Like, dude, hey, let's I like picking on him because he's, he's. No, we're not. We're damn. just. Hey, we're deconstructing what he means because I feel like he, there's an art here. He knows what he's doing. I feel like Matthew has a message, right? He's okay. trying to get it out there. Okay. But we just have to figure it out. We got to decipher the. All right. So what is he saying here? 2020. What's that about? Well. What's that about? Maybe it's like. I, trying to find the good 2020. in 2020. What's this is kind of sucks because 2020 sucks, right? Maybe he's trying to maybe maybe he's trying to find dude, the good. Dude, Matthew in knew. This is from 2019, dude. Oh, he's wait. It's for 2020. Got you. He knew. He knew, bro. It's really prophetic, actually, dude. Was be a lot cooler if you did. It'd be a okay. I got it. I got it. Okay. I got it. Let's hear it. He's saying, I got dude. So much script analysis under my belt, bro. <laughs> He's saying if 2019 was the year of what if and like I wish I did this thing and you know wouldn't it be cool if we did if I, if I, if we did this this thing wouldn't it be exciting mm -hmm. then 20 what well, let's make 2020 I'm the year glad, we do it I'm glad we did it like or whatever he says okay and like this this is the year of like doing the thing you want to so do so what he so I think that, I think you're spot on I think that's what it is. But he just had to say, it'd be a lot cooler if you did. Yes. I'm looking for 2020 to so be nervous. a lot cooler. So insecure. Because we do. A lot cooler because we do. I fuck with that, Yo, man. Yo, let's go, I Matt. I love Matthew. I got a couple more. Fuck, more. I love Matthew McConaughey, man. Couple more, couple more. Oh, oh this, I this love was the McConaughey. This was the intro <laughs> to, to his Instagram. And what do you think it's going to be? Just another fucking, like, really set up, scripted. He probably wrote this whole thing down. Okay. And did it five takes. Born November the 4th, 1969. Got my dad's name the very same day, but not until I turned 50 today did I become officially McConaughey. That's my Instagram handle. See you there. Oh, I'm, I'm, I am following him on He's so cool. I swear to God, I'm following him on He's so right cool. Now. I'm literally following him. What is that record around. scratch? I need that. That's gonna be our new intro. You got. You should edit for him, dude. You should. Born you should. November the fourth, nineteen. Dude, he's such a boss. You really should try to edit for him. Is he fucking edit unreal? For him? Dude, I'm leaving this podcast. Yo, I'm going over there. I just followed him. Done. <laughs> Done. 
hundred percent. I'm in. <laughs> what else do I have? What here? a gangster. Oh, so this is another thing I want to get into. So he recently released a book. Buying Did you know it. that? No, I'm buying. No, it. no, hundred <laughs> percent. We should buy it and like get into it on the podcast. Hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> but um, it's it's like um, what do you call it? Like a bio, like a auto. What's it? Your self biography? Is that autobiography? Autobiography. Yeah, yeah. Does that mean you do it yourself? You do it yourself. Yeah, or a memoir, I guess. Memoir. Yeah, I think it's a memoir. And uh, it's like a bunch of his writings and poems, and I guess this is one of them. And this is what I do, bro. I don't understand what he's saying. So, okay. if you you're a poet, so please. Did I send you my shit? No, because you forgot. Tonight, you don't care. If I send it to you tonight, we'll sometimes we find our frequency by really? holding on to a moral bottom line in the midst of chaos. Sometimes we find it by breaking the rules and running the damn red light to get our ass home. <laughs> this is green light. Do you understand that? No. All right, one more time. Sometimes we find our frequency, frequency. by holding on to a moral bottom line Warm in the point. midst of chaos. In the midst of chaos. So, okay. it's, so it's, it's holding on. That's weird because we were talking about this before. Holding on to your morals, holding on to the your moral bottom line, saying in the midst of everything going crazy, you're trying to be you like. Going, sticking to your guns, sticking your guns while everything's going downhill. That's right. Even even in the midst of it. Okay. Sometimes we find it by breaking the rules and running the damn red light to get our ass home. Okay. See? Little work nah, 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 nah. and then you get there, dude. <laughs> Why is he going to say it like that? I love it. I love it. I love that he's like, he's like a Are parrot. you going to be like this when you're Yeah, older? I'm going to be fucking weird, dude. Me in a three-piece and just saying weird shit yeah. right out a window. I'm going to wear fucking sandals and um, jeans. Don't let me get, don't let me get money, bro. <laughs> this is going to be bad. Dude, it's gonna what be are you going to do? I'm just going to be <laughs> fucking all over the place. I'm just going to be like wearing like uh, more overalls. Scarves and fucking overalls. Overall, dude. No shirt underneath. Say I won't wear overalls. <laughs> No shirt. <laughs> I'm gonna wear overall shorts to like award ceremonies, bro. <laughs> and just and just being prophetic as fuck, talking about <laughs> nothing. But he's saying some shit. <laughs> talking about nothing. He's saying some shit. Sometimes we find it by breaking the rules and running the damn red light to get our ass home. I like that. I actually like that. <clears throat> Sometimes we find it by breaking the rules. He gets me in this like mood. Where I'm Doesn't he? See? Damn. He's making you think, bro. Try to get our ass home. That's his art. His, his, art's, his art's making you think a little. I feel that. Now we're going to get into, a, I did a little snooping. Okay. Boom. His website for his book. Are you lit? We're really about this McConaughey pod. All right, let's, I want you to read this. Okay. I've been in this life for 50, I already like the title. I've been in this life for 50 years, been trying to work out its riddle for 42, and been keeping diaries of clues to that riddle for the last 35 Notes about successes and failures, joys and sorrows, things that made me marvel, and things that made me laugh out loud. How to be fair, how to have less stress, how to have fun, how to hurt people less, how to get hurt less, how to be a good man, how to have a meaning in life, how to be more me. Dude, and you know what? You can stop there. This is him. He's a riddle, dude. He speaks in riddles. I, I think like that's it. what it is, man. I really fuck with it, actually. Yeah? I like this. He's saying, I wrote a bunch of shit growing up trying to find my way in this life. And I want to share it with you. I, I found... These, these are on the bottom of his... Can you read this one, please, for me? Can you read it? Can you... Can I Some people in? want the AC on in the gym as they... As they... <laughs> What does it say? As they want sweat? As they won't sweat? So they won't sweat, I think. So they Oh, so they won't sweat. Some people want the AC on and in the gym, gym so, so they, they won't, won't sweat. sweat. Yeah, now, I, I read that, and I don't know what that means. I don't know either. Maybe it's just half. No, there's no way. <laughs> Maybe. That's got to be the it's whole like thing. It's like the top of the paper. I'm going to buy the book. <laughs> you think I'm not? That's why you're going to buy it. Because you want to know the rest of I need another rest of that. <laughs> But I, I like shit like this. I like yeah. that, like, because this is kind of like a journal. This is kind of the thing yeah, kind of yeah. I'm writing. Yeah. It's kind of like this. <laughs> McConaughey beat me to it. Fuck yeah. Fucking green Hey, lights. McConaughey, I love you. I appreciate you. I fuck McConaughey. with McConaughey. McConaughey episode. McConaughey um, pod. You are yeah, here. Did you think, me. hey, hey, listeners out there, 
Did you think that this podcast was going to turn into a McConaughey? What a, what a, realest podcast in the game because you can never predict where we're going, can you? You can't. And there's something about that. I like it. There's something about that. I agree. I think we are the realest podcast in the game, and I think all of you should just listen to this podcast. Join and, our Patreon. And don't listen to anything else. I'm going to meet Marcus Steakhouse. <laughs> Patreon. Patreon. Five dollars <laughs> a month. And uh I love you. But for real though, thank you for listening. Again. Yeah. And I do love you. And I'm very appreciative that you're you, you that you hang with me and Mikey every Monday. Yes. Or Wednesday. For all the, all the, the little group we have. Yeah. I appreciate you guys. Yeah. And I love you guys. It's a tribe. And that's what I we really, mean. really appreciate. It. Yeah. And this podcast has actually helped me come around through this yeah. shit. So I'm feeling yeah. Okay. Actually I'm I'm go- I, I feel like I'm on an upswing. Hey. And I was in a dark place, I like and that. I was still coming every Monday. Mm. I feel like I'm on an upswing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's cool. I feel that too. And I appreciate it. I'm looking up, man. I'm keeping the high. High. Not the low. High. Not the low. I suggest you do the same. And Garth Brooks in the hotel room, dude. <laughs> if I saw Garth Brooks in the hotel if I was bringing I like him, it. Ooh. And I like that. Turn it right around. <laughs> I'm leaving that room service at the front door. Hey, Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be slick. <laughs> raw. I like when it's slick. When it's raw. All right, Garth. Boom. Episode 84 of the podcast. You know where to find a podcast. Apple Podcasts, YouTube with that video. Spotify. Yo, Spotify has that video thing. I want to see if maybe we can get on that. You feel me? $100 million. Oh, Spotify, Spotify was, is with it. And if they're trying to keep the high out or the low eye. But I know you guys are trying to do that right now. So we're going to do that podcast. www.youarehearpodcast.co. We cannot afford the Boom, my name's Mike. I'm signing out. My Thank you. Dave, and I love y'all <laughs> so much. I kiss you through this. <laughs> <laughs>